In this video, I'm going to explain how you can save money by inventing your own Necron flared ones. So, the way I saved money uh, making my own Necron flared ones was I had one Necron Ghost Act kit and one box of Necron Warriors. Um, and I also bought 10. Uh, basis from a bit to say it was about a pound for 10, 10p a piece, something like that. Um, so what I did was I took Necron Warrior, this guy's got a red head, I wonder why, and I used this little bit, oops, I used this little bit here, the ghost flame, you'll see that in a second, um, and I made one of these guys. Which looks a bit like Goro from Street Fighter. Street Fighter? I think so. With his forearms. I cut the top shoulder bit and put another arm in there using the Necron Warrior arm. And there's the Ghost Flayer bit at the end. He's got two, one on each hand. Um, and then to make the legs, sometimes I stole normal warrior legs to make them, but this guy, he had one leg cut from the guy, the broken one. And half a good leg put on, so it looks like he's running. Um, obviously, if you don't have the gauze flares, you can just put spiky bits um, from your spare bits box. So there's the two guys, look like they're running. I've got a bit of a halfway through chopping for um, pose. Um, so basically, in summary, I think a 10, that's two of them, 10 flared ones from Games Workshop cost about £51 and if you already have the Ghost Arc, if you buy a box of Warriors for £18 plus one, uh, ten, ten, one lot of 10 bases you can spend about £20 instead of spending £51 save £31 making your own 10 Necron flared ones I mean maybe one day I'll show you the rest of these guys but this is two of my favourite ones that again look like Goro um yeah so if you like the video put a like on it if uh, please share and uh, subscribe you can follow me on twitter now uh, wargamer underscore nick